This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Thursday, May 15th. President Obama is in New York for dedication ceremonies for the 9-11 Museum. Among the powerful images on display are the so-called Survivor Stairs, which hundreds of people use to escape out of the World Trade Center complex to safety. The museum opens to the public next Wednesday, but those opening day tickets are already sold out. And the government has launched a major investigation into tire safety in the wake of a series of deadly accidents. An ABC News investigation has revealed a badly flawed government recall system that's kept both motorists and retailers in the dark about a hidden danger. Tires for sale as much as 15 years old. Millions of unsafe tires could be on the road and there's no legal age limit, but even the big three automakers recommend tires older than six years be replaced. Police in California say missing radio legend Casey Kasem has been found in Washington state. A judge had ordered an investigation into Kasem's whereabouts after his family expressed concern. The 82-year-old suffers from Parkinson's disease and can no longer speak. His daughters had complained they were being kept away from Kasem by his wife, Jean. And bidding a fond farewell to a broadcasting legend and friend, ABC threw a huge party for Barbara Walters last night at the Four Seasons restaurant here in New York. She was joined by Disney CEO Bob Iger and former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, current and former co-host of The Viewer, also on hand to celebrate, including Jenny McCarthy, Star Jones, Joey Behar, and Whoopi Goldberg. But Barbara had the line of the light of the night, saying, "Being so honored is kind of like having your obituary and being alive to see it." That's good one <laughs> and of course we say congratulations to her as well oh yeah get more news anytime at abcnews.com i'm diana perez and i'm john muller thanks for watching this is abc's world news now available anytime anywhere you want it every day more americans choose abc news america's number one news source